Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of Management Models and Diagrams series, you are going to learn how to create Continuous Improvement Model. The Continuous Improvement Model diagram you are going to learn today looks like this. Isn't this simple and beautiful? It's very easy to create this uh, diagram. Once you know how to create this diagram, you can use this to create any generic uh, diagram which represents four steps in a circular process, etc. Let us see how to create this simple diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. If you observe closely, this diagram is created using hexagon, a circle, and an arc. So those are the three elements that we have used to create this uh, diagram. And as I have mentioned in my previous um, tutorials as well, creating these simple diagrams helps you understand PowerPoint a lot better than going through a list of features uh, that is normally seen in any of these uh, textbooks so called. First let us go to basic shapes and find this tool called as hexagon tool. Click on it and while holding the shift button draw the hexagon. We need the hexagon uh, to face up or uh, we need to have one of the corners on the top. So we are going to rotate this to 90 degrees. So go to arrange, rotate and rotate right 90 degrees. So we got one of the four um, factors which is plan, do, check, act. We have got the plan ready. We are going to have another copy made here and the way I have done it is I kept the control button pressed as I moved uh, this shape to a new location. Now that this is done, we are going to select both of them, press Ctrl G to group them, press Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste and we are going to rotate this, arrange, rotate, rotate left 90 degrees. You can have left or right, it doesn't matter because it's going to give the same result. So we are going to place this here. Now we are going to select both of these groups once again and go to arrange, align, align center, arrange, align, align middle to ensure that they are aligned properly. Now that they are aligned, we are going to select these, go to group and press ungroup. Now each of these elements uh, is separated. The next step we are going to do is to add a circle which kind of uh, occupies the center. Let us go to the basic shapes and pick up this tool called as oval tool. Click on it and while holding the shift button, pressed draw the circle. Make sure that the circle is big enough to cover or attach the corners as much as possible. So this is how we are going to have the circle made. If you want it slightly smaller, you can have it done. It is purely dependent on the kind of diagram you want to create. Now let us make sure that this circle is in the center. So for that what I have done is I have selected all the four shapes, four hexagons once again and press Ctrl G and then I select the circle, go to arrange, align, align center, arrange, align, align middle. Now this ensures that the circle is bang in the middle of uh, these four hexagonal shapes. The next thing is to draw a circular arc to represent that it is a continuous circular process. For this once again let us go to basic shapes and click on this arc tool. While holding the shift button draw the arc. Now you can have a circle made out of this pretty much almost like a circle. You move the yellow handle and get it closer to the starting position. Now we are going to keep this one again in the middle. So what we are going to do once again as we had done earlier, we are going to have this group, have this arc, once again align center, align middle 
and this ensures that it is in the perfect place now i am going to change the weight of this arc to say one and a half points i am going to change one of the ends to arrow end and i am going to move the starting point of this yellow handle here so it represents a circular process that's perfect now all that is left for us to do is to add some quick styles and add some transparency to the center circle first let us ungroup these elements the first one we are going to add a quick style of blue the next one we are going to add the quick style of aqua the next one a quick style of green and the next a quick style of purple we we don't want this arc so much in the front so we are going to right click and send to back we can have that arc in a gray color in the gray color rather and this center oval we can have that in tan color with white outline the thickness of the outline can be slightly more for a little more dramatic effect i am going to right click go to format shape fill and increase the transparency so that you can see the design at the back now that it is all done you can choose to select everything control g to group go to effects option shadow and add one of the shadows called outer offset diagonal bottom left and that makes the diagram to pop out if that has darkened this a little bit more you can increase the transparency to make the design at the back to show through a little more there it is done now finally i just need to add the relevant text here so i am going to write plan to make it clearly visible i am going to use white font i am going to make a copy of this i am holding the control button as i move the text box the second text box is done the next one is check and the last one is act and move this slightly to the side so that it's somewhere closer to the center and all these four steps revolve around the core principle which is about ensuring quality because this continuous improvement model is also called as deming cycle so you can use either deming cycle or continuous improvement model to represent this particular diagram and if you don't want to write plan do check act here you can write your own generic text like the way that we have done here and you can complete your diagram the real power of such diagrams comes when you combine it with custom animation i wish to show you some example templates taken from our advanced custom animation templates pack for busy business presenters like you and you can see the kind of impact animation can bring in to diagrams that look as simple as this let us go to the slide show view the first thing you find the central the core text coming and then on the next click this one comes up next click another factor comes up and next click another factor now with a final click those three factors are moving and this text is aligned here so that is three sides of an issue let us give an example of four sides of an issue here you have the center core first second third fourth and as i click all the four factors all the four arrows go inside and the text moves and you have a new sample text uh, box shown here let me show you the five sides of an issue you have on each click one of the factors coming out and as i click 
observe what happens to these arrows they go inside and all the five align in one line and this goes to another place and you have the final text box written here instead of just writing these factors you can have something which represents concepts like inputs and outputs let us take this is a box and you have various inputs coming into the box and once the process happens each of these factors gets converted as an output as you can see here and this can be an animated concept as you can observe it takes a lot of effort to create such um, advanced animated slides because if I were to show you the animations pane here there's so much of animation that goes behind creating diagrams that look as good as this if you're a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such uh, elaborate animated slides for yourself, you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates for PowerPoint. There are more than 630 ready-made animated templates for you to use, for you to plug into your uh, slides, slide deck. You just choose a slide that matches your thought Replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating high quality custom animated slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating plan, do, check, act um, model or continuous improvement model or Deming cycle model from scratch. If you want to learn more such tutorials, read articles to improve your presentation skills or PowerPoint skills, or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, you can visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.